Outside of the digital world, embossing refers to the process of pressing some kind of design on another surface to create a relief or three-dimensional image. The high-pressured pressing raises the surface, adding a new dimension to the original object. The imprint could be raised to another level or recede into the surface background. That is called debossing. Now you've seen both embossing and debossing many times before, not only in the world of paper scrapbooking, but also from credit cards to braille books for the blind, or notary stamps and wedding invitations. It's an elegant and varied printing technique. Matter of fact, the topic of embossing is so diverse that we're not going to open the door any further into the chamber of paper embossing secrets. Instead, we'll open the digital chamber and mimic the techniques of embossing using our photo editors. Let's get started. To recreate the techniques shared in this lesson, you'll need the following. Any solid paper from the class kit. This particular set of steps works best on solid colored papers or textured papers in a single color. You'll also want to open the Joy Word Art from the Creations Kit, cropped as such. Then open a new document and place the paper and drag and drop in the Word Art. Or you can start from a template and ignore the other layers until you get the look that you want. Our next step is to open the effects panel. We can open the panel by going to Window and choosing Effects from the drop down listing. In the effects panel, click on the icon that looks like two rectangles overlapping. This is the icon for layer styles. Finally, choose Bevel from the drop down list. There are many options or styles of bevels to choose from, and we want to pick the style that best matches debossing, or as mentioned earlier, displays a receded print into the surface of the background. Pillow emboss will do it just right, so our first step is to apply a simple pillow emboss to our Joy Word Art. Double click on the icon to apply the effect. Now it doesn't look half bad, does it? The joy definitely looks pressed into the paper, and we can thank that pillow emboss for the deboss look. It's cool, but we're not done yet. I want the color of the letters to match the background, so it looks really punched out, like a die cut. Okay, let's fix the color now because it's actually pretty simple. To fix the color, we need only to create a solid color adjustment layer and clip it to our word art layer. So with the word art still targeted in the layers panel, click on the create new fill or adjustment layer icon and select solid color from the flyout menu. Then click OK. Now chances are the color was not right but we'll fix it soon enough. First, we'll need to create a clipping group from the word art to the adjustment layer. And that will clip our color to our word art layer. Then target the layer's color thumbnail, click on it, and use the eyedropper to sample colors from our background paper. And that's more like it. Now, the color doesn't have to be exact, but close enough is good. Now our piece definitely looks like we embossed, or better yet, debossed a design right into the paper. 
Now do the steps I've outlined work for other types of objects? <laughs> you betcha. I can click OK and take a look at what I've got. And then I can right click within the layer, select copy layer style. Well, let's paste the layer style to the big flower or the string or a photo area. All give me the same type of look. The technique works across the board, but I really love to see it applied to text or brushes, the type of objects that will serve as background foundations to others. All right, I hope you'll recreate this look within your own holiday album.